bias could be based on uh, others than demographic traits lah bias bias uh, uh, yeah uh, others than demographic traits for for demographic traits for example the age yeah uh, you see, normally if the evaluator is this person yeah uh, above 50 they, when they evaluate those under 30 they might be biased for example if the uh, evaluator or the officer managers are women when they evaluate men would be biased person i'm just using this for example eh? this is not actually ever happened nowadays eh? and then and so on so these are two uh, types of bias bias not based on uh, demographic and bias based on demographic so knowing that we have all these you know uh, the uh, the letter problems the tools and so on knowing all this so how actually we can manage a good appraisal interview so the first thing we need to do is to understand what is the meaning of appraisal interview itself yeah unless until we know what is the meaning of appraisal interview only then we can ensure that the performance appraisal we do is going to be a fair performance appraisal. Of course, we need to do preparation. Uh, this includes uh, what actually the question uh, or the the, uh, uh, you know, the aspect, the element that we not we need to evaluate, which form of tools we should use, and so on. This is pre preparation, planning. Uh, of course, this is the. Uh, referring to the schedule, the right time of doing performance appraisal, and so on. And uh, coaching after the performance appraisal, we should be able to do coaching. Yeah, we know the deficiencies, so we, we know what to <coughs> propose to the management, what training to offer, and required by the employees. So this is. Uh, this comes after the uh, performance appraisal, which we refer to coaching. Okay, and there is a rare case, yeah, a rare case in which when we do evaluation performance appraisal, element of denial uh, took place. Denial here means when you re re evaluate your subordinate, uh, Nowadays in public service, we have this uh, EL and PT, whereby uh, we are being evaluated by two officers above, uh, above us. Yeah? For example, by officer uh, N19, N19 is the club level, uh, low level officer. They will first be evaluated by my officer N41, for example, or N45. So after that, I'm the, the last person as the head of the department to evaluate the lower level uh, officer in my office, for example. So basically, there are two uh, uh, officers above you. Lah. So what happened is sometimes the employees might have problem with the first officer lah, before the, the ketua jabatan. So it's always occurs that at this stage and under the one level stage, there is a lot of, uh, you know, grosses between employees and the uh, supervisor, the, the appraiser. So, how actually we handle this thing? So, our employees, our uh, employees, especially the managerial level, official level, they need to learn this. Because when we trying to, you know, uh, I'm not saying downgrade, yeah. When we trying to deny their opportunity to be promoted by giving bad, uh, bad uh, evaluation, we uh, encounter a situation of denial, yeah, of denial. So how actually we are going to handle this denial uh, crisis? So the first thing is that we need to realize that. It's not easy for us to downgrade uh, 
individu indiv other individu ya yeah? uh, if we want to say that you are not for example uh, using graphic writing skill from 1 to 5 if we put them 3 uh, they might okay but if we put them 2 skill uh, is going to be you know uh, hot hot experience yeah in between yeah so how actually we handle this so uh, we i'm not saying that we should be we should retract that, uh, that, that evaluation but we just cool down and we might say to the to the officer or to the to the employees uh, you are going to explain it later for example because it is uh, common it is normal for people to feel not happy when when we are downgrade or put their scale below than what they expect they should be given yeah for example and then uh, we never attack person yeah, because uh, this is only a process of evaluation at the end of the day you still have your boss head of department to finalize everything and i'm referring this case more on to the first level officer lah, because uh, for example in in ums we have two other person officer above us to to evaluate us this is common to most public sector yeah? so the confrontation usually occurred between at, at the first level yeah so uh, you still have if you are the employees you still have chance to improve that grade when you are being assessed by the head of the department or the second level yeah so this is uh, actually for for employees representative the officers yeah uh, just cool down uh, don't uh, causing the situation to be more in flames yeah and then uh, if we found that neglection or denial uh, resistant uh, we should uh, could, uh, put the evaluation uh, put off first maybe we set another time to come back and so on because at the end of the day we are in the same team actually so the ideas of performance and pleasure as i said earlier is actually to improve the bonding actually not only to you know to uh company to make things worse yeah uh, and then finally finally you uh, recognize the limitation uh limitation here referring to uh the officer is not psychologist yeah said officer is not psychologist actually it ne it needs time to think of how actually to explain to the employees so the best solution is if there is a denial and denial uh, become resistant we want to avoid uh, you know uh, uh, problem so we put off the practice until uh, we postpone maybe next time for example uh, during the, this that phase maybe these employees <coughs> will learn uh, actually the evaluation is true or not or otherwise we as director as the evaluator can learn or can realize that there is something true about the, the denial so this is the idea of when we are in confrontation with employees who don't uh, agree with our evaluation we need to take fight yeah we need to take fight.